Hello friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and this morning I was heading out to harvest for tomorrow's farmer's market and I noticed that I could see the wildflower field in the distance so I thought it was time to give you guys an update. So let's dive right into it. So I planted approximately 10 pounds of wildflower seed. It's the northeastern pollinator mix and I spread it all over the top of this amazing hill and I did this probably the end of May. So we have had steady rainfall this year, such drastic difference from last year because last year was a total flop. It, basically the deer ate it, there was drought, it was nothing. And this year it looks a thousand times better. The only thing that I'm really not seeing from the mix is Cosmos and that is because the deer have been eating them. Uh, there's nothing I can do to prevent that. So really the deer are eating the Cosmos but not much else. So it looks really good. You can see that they are rummaging through the field. They, they're leaving tracks everywhere. It's kind of one of their main trails that they walk every night. But nothing that I could do to prevent that really. I had the pinwheels. I had, uh, I went out there and like clapped my hands at night. There's nothing I can do. So here is what it looks like today absolutely beautiful I am loving it of course not everything in here is what I planted a lot of milkweed came up and a lot of native goldenrod came up a couple of different varieties of goldenrod and I'm not mad at that because guess what the butterflies love that the pollinators love that and it's beautiful to my eye anyway as I was cutting the zinnias this morning I saw this in the distance but also the pollinators were all over the zinnias and I really wanted to bring you guys just some peaceful moments and this is what I'm seeing when I'm sitting down there and I'm cutting these flowers and I'm surrounded by these butterflies and these bees and they're just beautiful and I really do get lost in the moment and I wanted to share that with you guys so um, I'm gonna sign off for my voice for the rest of this video and leave you guys with some images of the amazing butterflies and of course the hummingbird moth as well um, absolutely gorgeous footage I just wanted to show you guys I'm super Super happy with the way the wildflower field turned out. I will be doing some photography down there. My cousin's bringing over Millie, my little baby Millie. So uh, we're gonna have uh, a really amazing time. I'm not gonna be opening up to professional photographers this year. I myself am a professional photographer and I might just do some of my own photos in the field. So anyway, I consider this a success, much more successful than next year. How, I mean last year, however, I probably will change where I do the wildflower field in years to come. So we'll talk about that more over the winter as those decisions are finalized. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Oh, this is my, see this mess? This is my staging area for photos. So when you see a picture, um, that's where I take the pictures, right there on the bird bath. That's why all the vases are on the ground because I like try to figure out what the best height is and the best whatever. So anyway, that's where I take all the pictures that you guys see, um, mostly on my Instagram page, so and Facebook as well. Anyway, thank you guys for sticking around and I'm considering the Wildflower Field 2021 a success. We'll see you soon. Don't be afraid. Oh, don't be afraid. I'll get you, my pretty. I 
I'll get you, my pretty. Ah. Oh. So cool. I love you.